kind of shit too. You know, physical abuse is much more better. I, I, I prefer it. You want to whoop my ass? Come whoop my ass. Fuck it. I wouldn't be the first or last ass whooping I ever took. It don't affect me. I, I'm certified for real. So it's like, whatever, this too shall pass. But subtle abuse, it's like it's really, 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 really hard to put a finger on. You know, uh, wives and girlfriends are great about this shit too. I'm going to get into that and like, this is like part of another clip or whatever, but we'll do, I'll do another thing about uh, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife devaluation of, of how they fucking destroy your interests, hobbies, friends, social groups. They'll belittle whatever you do, whatever little projects you do, whatever little shit you do, whether you fucking collect stamps or fucking ant farms or you work on cars or fucking fly airplanes. It doesn't matter. Whatever the fuck your hobby or interest is or your pastime or whatever makes you you, whenever somebody starts to devalue that, it's a good sign to fucking eject them. If you don't eject them, do the work yourself, study yourself, take a deep breath, and if you still have contact with these motherfuckers, use it as an opportunity to study them periodically. Meaning, I'll take another phone call like this and another maybe three weeks or some shit when I want to like re-traumatize myself again and bring this up and do another video. That's why people always talk about going no contact or low contact with people, you know, that are like psychologically abusive and they don't realize it, you know. But really, but you know one thing that really fucks with me though? And this really, really, really fucks with me and grinds my gears. The more I study cluster B personality types, narcissistic personality disorder, psychopaths, sociopaths, fucking histrionics, there's like books like a motherfucker here. You know, thank God there's a fucking library nearby me because Amazon don't, I'll be broke, you know. Studying all this shit, you know what really, 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 really fucking disheartens me? Yeah, I used to think that like, I was searching for a reason, a valid explanation to justify these people's behavior. People who psychologically, I'm talking about like my mom, my ex-wife, close friends, friends I've let go and all this other shit throughout my life, you know. People that I've studied, you know. And I wanna find, via the psychology of the books and the internet, I wanna, I wanna justify to myself that it's not really the other person's fault. That I wanna believe in the good of the world that they don't know what they're doing, or they don't know their words are hurting, or they don't know their behaviors and actions are hurting, but... The more I put these people under the microscope and I see they're not complete, total psychopaths, meaning they're not psychopaths, which is like the highest level of, cluster, not even cluster B, but narcissism and all that other shit. They're like cluster A or some other, <laughs> some other shit. And psychopaths and sociopaths. They're not psychopaths and sociopaths, which I guess is a good thing. But, this is like the big fucking but. <sighs> then this is like the hardest thing for me to swallow about psychotherapy and shit. These motherfuckers are actually doing this shit on purpose. People that narcissistically abuse and devalue and whatever. Well, devaluation is actually a defense mechanism from what I read today. So that is like one like minor justification, maybe. Because devaluation isn't actually the worst thing that someone can do to you, you know. It, it can get much worse than that. That's just like the fucking ripples of the shit. But it's like most narcissistic personality abuse, you know, it's, it's fucking intentional by the other party. That means your family, your friends, your mama, your wife, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, friend next door, bestie, BFF, all that. When they fuck with you, they're like fucking with you for real because they want to. And that's what's, that shit I just, you know, it's fucked. I mean, unless the motherfuckers like, like cross me over like, in plain sight in front of my eyes recently or whatever, then, you know, I'm like, whatever. But I can't believe, fuck, they're doing it on purpose. People with NPD are abusing, if you're being abused by someone with a narcissistic personality disorder, they are doing it on fucking purpose. Now, the reason they're doing it is probably because of their childhood. They didn't get the love, attention, all that other shit and whatever and now they're on the deep what they call the DSM spectrum or some shit I'm reading you know 
But still, they're still conscious of what they're doing. They're conscious when your feelings get hurt or when you feel drained when you get off the phone with motherfuckers and shit, or you gotta correct them and be like, hey, that's fucked up what you did there. Why are you treating me like this? Why are you talking to me like this? They get energy from you when you say shit like that. When you stick up for yourself, when you got nuts and you assert yourself or whatever, they're like recharging their batteries on you, you know, like, like yeah, I hurt him. Rawr. You don't need to stay around people that are hurting you, you know? If you're watching this video and you've hurt me intentionally, you probably have. That's why you're on this channel. There's no other fucking way for you motherfuckers to be on this channel unless you're stalking and shit. So it's like, yeah, man, if you really hurt me, you got me. Oh, fuck. All right, now what? What do you do once the motherfucker like me is like onto your game? You just got to move on to another target, I guess. Whatever, because I'm out you on here. Fuck that shit. If you've really, 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 bur really burnt some motherfucking bridges and shit, you, my nigga, you done. You, you just, you, your day just hasn't come up yet if the video's not in the fucking boxes yet, that's all. You know, this is my motherfucking show and mine till they shut it down, so it is what it is. You know, this is my way of not getting back, but putting my story out there to help myself and help others because when you hold abuse on the inside, you know what I'm saying, when I internalize all this shit, it fucks with me. It makes my hair go gray. It makes me unhealthy fat. It's not good. And that's what people <coughs> that's what people are banking on who abuse you. It's like when they devalue you, they want to drop you down to their level. They already see you up there like you just number one motherfucker on the pedestal and shit, right? So they look up to you and they feel like they got to bring you down a couple notches to control you or to be on your level. And this person could be your own mama, like in my own instance here, you know, but I'm getting on to the other motherfuckers on the other videos too. But anyway, about that black mom shit, it doesn't matter how successful you are. If you're not doing what she envisions for you to do, if you're not a fucking doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, I might be the Indian chief or whatever, but it's like if you're not the doctor, lawyer, or Indian chief, as the old joke goes, fucking, um, you don't measure up in her eyes, which is very sad. You know, it's very sad, you know, fuck. So sorry, I'm gonna do what I do. You don't like it, whatever. Go tell your other friends or other fucking overweight, fat, black women in church or wherever the fuck you go to that I'm doing my thing and you can tell them I said hi and they can click dislike and give me a thumbs down and report the channel and all that shit because it is what it is. So that's devaluation and I'm just saying it can come from your own mama. It often will come from your own mama and uh, it's just fucked up. Don't play these kind of games with people. If you really truly love and care about somebody, you shouldn't devalue them. You should compliment their life and whatever activities or interests they have, you should, I shouldn't say you should be into them also, but you should respect that they're into them and you should just let them do their own thing. And if you're not interested in playing fucking uh, shuffleboard or connect four, or just for example, some shit, then you don't have to devalue it and say, oh, only stupid people play checkers or connect four or whatever because that's not your arena to whatever why are you judging that if i don't flip back and judge you for doing lord knows what you motherfuckers on the other side of the camera do you know if i don't judge you motherfuckers for that why are you judging me hmm? you want to just hold up a mirror you know make your own fucking show about me do a reply video it's all good you know but i'm gonna do what i do so this is Shemmy. I'm signing out. Thank you for watching The Shemmy Show. The next portion of this show will be about uh, devaluation from your, uh, not, it's not just about mom, but we'll do the next show about family, friends, lovers, and shit like that. So up for the ex-wife, ex-girlfriends, and all that kind of shit that I may want to talk about next about uh, devaluation and NPD abuse. So signing out. Take care. Thank you for uh, watching the video. If you don't like me, dislike it. You know, I'm actually, maybe I should start just going for all the dislikes, I think. Yeah, just dislike me now. Fuck that. Dislike. <laughs> Shimmy, peace out. Don't do this shit for likes. I don't care about